This is a small permanent magnet DC motor that's rated at about one and a half to three volts. It consists of an outer stator shown here with the rotor inside of it. And you can see the permanent magnets on the inside of the stator housing. This is a clearer view of the magnets. The magnets provide fields, radial field lines, that interact with the coils of the rotor. This is what the field lines look like. The inside surface of the magnets are at a south pole, the outer surface is at a north pole, creating these field lines that are radially oriented towards the armature of the motor. There are actually two different types of magnets in the motor. And as you can see, because they attract each other in this orientation, one face must be north, the other face must be, must be south. And likewise, if we try to press them together this way, they repel each other. They do not want to stick together. This is the rotor and the brush support, which is also the end cap of the motor. The brushes are small copper tabs that keep contact with the commutator as the rotor rotates. The commutator has one, two, three separated segments on it that make contact with these two brushes as it turns. The result of that is that the coils, there are three separate coils in the motor, uh, receive current in different directions, creating magnetic fields that are intensified by these laminated poles here that interact with the fixed fields of the stator, causing the motor to rotate.